I don't know what it is, but I feel like the big boppers, the guys that we expect to go yard, yeah. are doing that tonight. Maybe it's because they know the whole thing that you told me. And Sean Case, you're talking hitting all night on MLB tonight. We're live in Studio 42. Uh, in our production meeting, we like to come up with segments and reasons to come in here and demonstrate something. And you guys, we, we talk about swings, favorite swings. But you're ready to take it to the next step. Really deep inside baseball. Yeah. What is it we're going to focus on? Well, we love talking hitting, Jimmy and I. I mean, you know, it's wh why not? We look, you you got to love th these guys and what they're doing, especially when you look at guys like Freeman, Aaron Nottle, J.D. Martinez. And that, when you get technical, right, Jimmy, and we start talking about guys getting in that ready position, that bone arrow effect, that load region, they all kind of get there differently, right? We were Absolutely. talking about that today. Yeah, for me, like, I think – Hitters have good swings, but what gets them to good swings? Like, what's the – I love looking at the side view of a hitter and what is the first move that gets them ready to that power position of knob to the catcher. And, and to be honest, Case, everybody does something a little bit different, different. which is cool, you know, because no hitters are – Nobody's alike. Right. You know, you had unique things you did. Right. You know, I had unique things. You know, Babe Ruth had unique things he did. And the cool part, this is the best part of doing this job, is you get to really, like, look at what all these great hitters do. Well, let's check out Freddie Freeman, what he did, what he does to get ready to really get loaded into that position, right? You see Freddie right here, right? He's, he's pretty quiet. His swing is pretty basic, right? Gets his hands up, and then let's roll it a little bit. Now, you see a little tap? Now, what does he do, Jimmy, right here? Pulls his hands down. Pulls his hands down, you know, right? You, you'll see a lot of these hitters. A lot of them will tap the bat on their shoulder, but to get to this position here, which, again, I call it knob to the catcher, the strong hitting position, what was the first move that he did? He pulled his hands to a position that got him there. Right. All right. Let's let's. How about Nolan Arenado? He hit a big home run this, uh, tonight too. There's Freddie. Look right at his there. head. Look, Look at, at his right head there. right there. Yeah. Head back, hands back. Boom. Down through the baseball. What? He's Impressive. a monster. Monster. He's Insta a great hitter. What stays a great to the middle. Too. Another monster. Yeah. You watch out Arenado here. What does he do, Jim? That's a little bit different too. When he gets to where he needs to be. Well, I, I love it. see see how he's laying the bat. He's laying the bat on the shoulder. But again, the bat starts. Let's go back let's bring it back up you know he taps the bat he's get, he gets the bat tap and then before it gets to the catcher he starts bringing the bat the knob to there's the your knob. stop it yep right stop there it. <laughs> there's your knob to the catcher right there he gets into that load position right now he's ready to fire he gets separation right jimmy yep. separation with hands and that foot there's your bow and arrow there, look right at, there. Look at, he probably started here and he ended here Right. And then look at look at he he had the hands here, but now there's your blow, there's your bow and arrow effect. But look at the eyes, look at the eyes, look at look at the concentration. Now the only thing that works from here, once you're in this position, you drop drop yep. the bat head to the ball. Yep, and his head's right on it, right on it too, and great hands too. How about Bryce Harper? A little bit more movement from Bryce. L right? L you know he's he's got some movement, but again he's so talented. And this guy can do so many good things. You know, he curls the bat a little bit there. He curls it again right yeah, there. Bring it back. You know, so let's let's go back to the let's go back to the beginning. Go back if to we the beginning. Can. Yeah. Uh, back, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, here we so go. he he you know he he's a handsy guy. You right, can right. see on his pre setup, he likes to move his hands. And then he you know Br Bryce has got movement but I think the main thing with Bryce he's got so much athletic ability yeah. he can handle and maneuver the ball a lot Knee comes back. Knee hands, comes back. There you go right there. So that's yes. like a, almost like a double. Watch the knee come back. Hands kind of go down. But there's your – and then he brings them back up. He kind of brings, brings them down, them brings up. it back up. So, so Case, with that, right. if you're going to do that, in my opinion, if you've got this movement, then you've got to start early. So the old saying, when the pitcher moves, I'm going to move. Right. So all this stuff that, that Bryce is doing – as the pitcher's going back, yep. and sometimes we as hitters can get caught up into, I'm going to get ready from here. Right. No, I'm going to get ready here as the pitcher's going back in his windup, but I'm going to do it slow. I'm going to de-accelerate my load to accelerate my swing. I like it. I yes. like it. Yeah, I love this kid. I love this kid. He Free hands. Look at his head. 
I think the thing that impresses me, look, he's a young, he's a young player. They're throwing him some fastballs right now. He does have a leg Stop hit, it. but look at that head. He doesn't move. The head doesn't move. But let's go back. If we can go back and let's see what his movement yeah. is before that we get the knob to the catcher. Yeah, let me see. Let's let's, let's see, see what, what, what I is think his... he kinda I think he tips. Keep it going. Go ahead. See how he tips right there? See the barrel? The barrel tips forward, yes. right? And keep it going. Watch his back elbow stretch. Watch his back elbow stretch back. And leg comes up. Look at stop it right there. Yeah. Look at that back elbow, how it pulls back. So he tips the barrel, and then he pulls that back elbow. And then, and then, right? and then look, Case, look right here. And then the elbow will drop boom. here. Right, it's going it to drop right, right in right through in. here. Right. And boom. And yes. then, you, then you have that. So he gets that load. Then you have the, the, the back elbow drops in, puts him right on plane. Right? Absolutely. Boom. Right here. See that back elbow drop down? You're right. The, head down case, the, ball. the almost the tilt here yeah. gets him in this in the great position that he's in. This kid can hit. Oh, he can hit. He can, he can hit. hit. And really quick, Jimmy, you talked about that little tilt that kind of gets that elbow into slot, right? Oh, I'm a this guy's this guy. special. Oh. You talk about he special? Taps. He taps on the shoulder and then watch where the knob goes. It's real simple. Boom is the tap. Now look at the knob. But, yep. So if we can go back, there's two movements here. The least amount of movement you can have as a hitter, you put yourself in hitting position. This is why he's going to could possibly win a triple crown right. because he doesn't have a lot of movement. He taps, boom, right there. Now look at that position. Right. Wow. And yeah. and let's talk. This 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 is awesome. If we can go back, yeah. this is something, Greg, that we talked about early. Watch yes. the back heel. Yes. Watch the back heel. He pinches the quad, the inner quads right here. He pinches this. He stays square. Watch the heel. Stays on the ground. Keep going. If we can run it, watch that back heel. That is awesome. So what why, he's why not is doing? That awesome. Because because what he's on his move to the baseball, he's not spinning off he's early. Not spinning right. He's he's coming here back heel, boom on contact. He's spinning. He's not spinning early, and that's we talked about that with the golf swing. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us are golfers, golfers. at all. <laughs> but but golfers have to keep the heel on the ground until contact. I would think. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't really know golf. But. Me either. This guy's special. For, for Rookie not being being a, that big of a guy, watch how he works his elbows right here. Look at that right there, that stretch. Go back. Bring it back real quick. Watch this in here. He's so good. And I was talking to J.D. Martinez at the All-Star game. I said, break down Mookie Betts. He said, watch his elbows, how good he works his elbows. So go ahead. He brings him back. He's going to stretch this elbow back. Look at that. Stop right there. Look at that back stretch right there. Look at the stretch that he so gets. Much. He's not that big of a guy. The reason he hits for so much power, this is that bow and arrow effect. If you had a bow and arrow, Jimmy, because I know you're a big hunter, right? And I took that bow and arrow and went like this, right? And, and I hit it, right? You're not going to get too many deer, right? No. If I, bam, I stretch it back like this now you got something you can you can let it let it rip i don't know how far the uh, yardage would be but that's pretty impressive that's why he gets so much power is that bow and arrow stretch he gets right there with his hands and his yes. front side i love i love when guys gain ground forward because if you gain ground forward it means your hands are going to move to some degree going back it doesn't have to be real far back because you don't want to bar right you don't want to push them way way back but they've got to go back to a certain degree They've got to come back to a certain degree, but if you're parallel, if you're shoulder width apart, I can get out to here, and that's where you get all your power. Mm -hmm. But some guys are spread out. Some guys have a wide stance, and they might get there. They might push their bat load a little bit far back. It sounds like there's not one clear-cut answer here. No. It's there's why everybody's unique. different reasons. Everybody's different. Their body type's different. Their, their flexibilities are different. Everything. Absolutely. So, so you can't really teach a youngster how to, how to load. you got to watch his swing and then tinker within his and swing. And tinker, yeah. yeah. I, but I do, th I do think, though, like we're showing, guys can start wherever they want to start, but most big league hitters, when they're in position, boom, they have that set. They're, they're getting some sort of separation back to go forward. Right, Jimmy? That's why I think it's good to get kids, young kids, even to sometimes get them narrow, you know, and let them feel what it's like to go out. See, I started here, and I ended here. That's what ultimately, when kids get strong and they start getting core strength, they can widen out a little bit farther. 
But I would like to see them start a little more narrow. My son and I do this drill where I'll get him where he's narrow, but I want him to feel what it's like to go get the baseball. I don't want the ball to get back on him in the zone yeah. because I want him to feel what it's like to actually go out here and get the Eat baseball. more together for young yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. I love and that. Then, and then, to feel and that then separation. Get comfortable. Walking away from your hands. Absolutely. Walking away from your hands. That was to a feel high that. energy hitting demo. I love that.